So welcome, uh, another match here, this time playing as the French allied with another French player versus the English, my favorite faction, and the Chinese, quite the combination. So one thing here, this is the Boulder Bay map, <laughs> uh, my least favorite map. Actually in fact I think it's the single most horrible map <laughs> in, in this game, uh, it's definitely the worst map in my opinion. Um, so yeah, um, lately playing as the French also a little more and uh, that was a good choice because we have a huge uh, naval aspect to this map besides this narrow path but of course it also makes it a little harder for us to rush our knights over to the enemy because uh, we have to go, go all the way around here. Um, so yeah, uh, let's actually see um, what was going on in this match. So yeah, I, uh, I was establishing the, the, uh, the usual thing with the knights, um, getting to the knights as, as quickly as possible. Um, here, the school of cavalry. Meanwhile, um, our foe, or English, forgot the council hall. No surprises there. Uh, the barricade of the sun. No surprises there. Well, very uh, nicely placed from our Chinese opponent next to his. Uh, food and gold sources, because this barricade is basically a huge stone block, uh, um, like a keep is firing uh, bullets at you, so um, yeah, I was uh, at this point um, having my scout over here, checking out what, what was going on. Obviously realized uh, what, what the English were doing, um, yeah, and starting to get my chivalry upgrade while the knights were <laughs> making their way over um, to see if there's any possibility actually to, to pick on them. And yeah. So here uh, with the scout because I like to have the sight, uh, the sight bonus. So yeah, always the population uh, limit here and while I was busy playing around with the knights over there. I just left them just standing around, which is an utter nightmare. And definitely uh, not a good play <laughs> on my end. Yeah, I also started to, because this is a naval map, I didn't um, do what I what usually would have done here, but um, I started to shift, uh, I want to shift my economy toward uh, getting fish, yeah, they collect faster, uh, it's, the, it is, it's an amazing food source and basically uh, switch this around and that's why I sent all of them on, uh, on uh, wood and gold um, and then just have those guys here meanwhile collect the berries. Um, so yeah, I was scouting around, I saw he was building already the, uh, the, the next landmark here trying to find weaknesses, but it was difficult because his wood was protected by the town center, his gold and his berries were protected by um, by the Barbican. Um, so yeah, I, 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 at this point I didn't find the berries, but I knew they were, they were here uh, under the protection because I checked around on the other side, there was nothing, so there was no other, they could have only been here. Um, so yeah, getting some more knights ready. Um, and to see uh, what, I, what I can do there. Um, yeah, at, this, at the same time, as I said, starting to switch over my, my food economy toward fish. Those guys are just uh, uh, still the, the placeholder. <laughs> uh, Malai um, well, went on to fish from the, from the very start, which obviously uh, helped him uh, quite a bit, uh, as one can see from his uh, food income. Um, yeah, so here they come. Uh, so I, I was start I started to raid his wood in the back as well, try to get his gold. But uh, you know uh, the the dreaded English longbowman, my favorite unit in the game, uh, going up against them over here. So I could have uh, attacked them, but obviously with the protection of the town center, he put all of them inside, all the villagers inside there. So. Uh, that's a massive amount of damage. Yeah, I'm just taking out uh, the Chinese scout here that wanted to, to check what's going on. 
Um, let's see if they were able, because I tried to, to ensure that they were not able... Yeah. Uh, I try to ensure to make able uh, to ensure that they're not able to see anything we're doing here to keep them uh, to keep them uh, completely contained to um, to their own range. So that's why I also had things patrolling around here, uh, my knights. Um, and yeah, so that was the plan. So we definitely had uh, we definitely knew what was going on. So um, that was a great way to prepare. Uh, so yeah, trying to pick again, but uh, town center range, so I knew this knight is, is going down, unfortunately. Um, yeah, definitely well played, that they were pretty protected uh, um, in regard to their uh, placement. So yeah, town center protecting those two wood ranges. Um, so yeah, they're a very tight build here. So yeah, uh, I started to really get into the into the wood, uh, into the uh, fish economy here uh, as well. Um, starting to catch up um, there as well. Uh, let, let's look at the income per minute. Um, so yeah, gold wasn't particularly uh, uh, going well at this at this point for me. Um, the Chinese and my French ally definitely had more. I had 10 on gold and he had um, 18 on gold. Plus, I think you already had the um, the caravans, the yeah, the traders here. So he was faster in that way because I was foc uh, focusing elsewhere. Um, because, yeah, this map is not great for... Um, Harassing, because you have to, you have you you spend too, you waste too much time going all the way around. So yeah, they were they were doing pretty much the same, which is a smart thing, especially green here going heavy on the fish. Um, got two pretty quite some troops down here. They build built the king's palace, which is the English variant, um, like an economic landmark, which is basically acting like a town center. Uh, more protections in the back. Or he started his. Um, field on uh, his fields here which gives him a steady uh, sustainable um, food source which is, which is certainly great two barracks smart play against the French obviously uh, considering um, <laughs> the French Knights here they are the Royal Knights um, yeah my, my ally he didn't harass he didn't uh, do any of those things he was going uh, full on eco uh, he, like he knew that it's gonna be hard to to rush quickly on this map and I tried anyway but at least because of my um, scouting and a little harassing that I did we knew what was happening what was going on um, so yeah let's, let's speed this up a little bit oh yeah um, what happened is that China uh, went in onto the sea. Uh, I actually advised my ally to spin the, the, the hulks around because when you spin them around they can shoot their springles from all their bolts from both sides and then you have a, a you can kind of double your uh, firing rate. Unfortunately he didn't read this. Um, so yeah, uh, the Chinese are getting uh, the hulks here which is, which is a little unfortunate. But yeah, that's the way it went. I don't know why the trade ship was just left here. Um, so my ally is starting to also ramp up his uh, military production. If we look at uh, the military here, yeah, no, not not too much. I wonder why how he lost. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the ships that he lost. Um, so yeah, the um, Chinese war junks coming after him here. Um, he has a lot of fishing, but like he's all, all in with, with the fishing economy. Uh, the problem here is that there's nothing to protect his food economy. So I realized he was coming here. Um, that's obviously only on foot sea, so I realized, oh damn it. So I tried to retreat my, my fishing boats here. And then I did the, the spinning thing. Like you can see, uh, uh, um, it was firing. It, it helped to uh, improve his firing rate and that kind of uh, deterred him. Um, I got those transport ships because I wanted to use take this force all the way down here and start invading him. 
Um, because I didn't want to wait um, too long. Um, but yeah, securing the, the food source over there, not going too deep over here. Um, building more, I think I was, yeah, I, I was building more hulks to, to build up my navy forces in order to protect my fishing fleet and, uh, and gain more control of the waters. Um, yeah, the population limit here again. So, m my ally, um, let's go to the income per minute. Yeah, he went full on with, with the gold here. I have an abysmal uh, gold income at this point because I was focusing, like you can see sometimes I pop up with, uh, as a wood leader um, because I want to uh, build a powerful uh, navy um, and also need the wood for the rams because I want to make a blitzkrieg style of attack. Uh, but then yeah, my, my allies started to um, started to arrest a little bit and <laughs> I was riding straight into his base. Um, you know, just a little bit of uh, putting some pressure there, but they, they couldn't have done much, obviously, because of all the, the spearmen and the longbows behind them. Uh, and the nice placement of all the guard towers and uh, everything. So, yeah. Yeah, that was the point. Uh, that was really problematic. Like, the Ch uh, Chinese went heavy on the navy. He took out the, the, my allies' navy here, so that was a, definitely a huge problem. Um, I realized that uh, because I wanted to, to start to explore um, in his shores and put pressure, but I realized he's literally at my doorstep here, so and my navy was still being built, so that was a huge problem for me. Um, and yeah, he had. Quite some ships here. He had uh, how many war junks did he have? Uh, like eight or nine or something. Uh, eight, uh, eight war junks. So huge problem. He he's crushing the food economy of, of, of my ally, uh, who has some some going on here as well. Uh, it's not too bad. But yeah, I try to help out here. Um, to draw the waters in this map would, would be really fatal. Uh, so I tried the spinning thing, taking out uh, those two ships quickly, but there are too many left. There's still um, six left here to focus fire my, my ships. So, um, yeah, in, in this way spinning, because they're, they were not in range, they were behind. They should have been all in this one line and then spin around. So, yeah, it was kind of a desperate attempt to um, kind of help my ally here, but I should have stayed back here in retrospective, built up, uh, get three more ships and just hold the line. Because now he was coming for me, and that was a huge problem. Uh, because of all my food economy <laughs> was here, I had nothing going on on land. So, uh, major, major problem. Now he's taking out the remaining uh, force of, of my navy. He has still five ships left. Um, so, yeah, uh, my invasion. Fleet here is. I, I, I realize I'm probably gonna lose the ship, so let's get them off um, and retreat the army because uh, they, they are gonna kill them like crazy. So re let's retreat inland. We lost the water. Um, but that was a, also a pretty nice place, so all my nice fishing boats here uh, trying to going for a suicide run yet to deliver the remainder and yes you can see that my my food um, sources went down and then their big uh, the Bao Chuan their big warship uh, next uh, generation ship basically came here so yeah I was uh, stuck inland um, <laughs> one great thing uh, my ally he snuck behind um, there and built uh, some stables which was certainly a very nice play. Um, so yeah, that's something that happened which I didn't see. The English foe went over here. See? And I didn't see this. I didn't see this. I like I sent one of my um, ships with the only surviving transport ship down here. I should have seen there was a transport ship. I think I even saw it, but I was like, why is this transport ship? Because there was nothing else there. So it was like, maybe it escaped from my ships early. I didn't pay too much attention to it. Meanwhile, the, um, the Chinese enemy here is uh, completely destroys the remainder of the Allied fishing fleet. So yeah, I had no idea that all by this <laughs> he was building the Wingard Palace, which is an uh, um, English landmark. 
um, and it can um, produce the Vingard army. Um, and with each army, you get one man in arms, a spearman, a longbowman, a knight, and a trebuchet. So, you know, you can... <laughs> uh, that was certainly nice play, because, yeah, I, yes, I had my forces here. And I got just the guild hall, just for some um, faster resource generation, and uh, kind of um, save my economy here, because, yeah, the income right now is zero for, for food. Um, which I didn't uh, pay too much attention to um, uh, yet. Uh, I built a force that I wanted to use to, to attack. Um, certainly not the, the smartest play here. But yeah, uh, my ally was busy with his knights keep to, uh, keeping harassing the, the, the enemy here. So I knew I had to move all in. I cannot focus on other stuff. So I, I was sending them over. And uh, pretty soon I should it's actually also start to get some uh, farms and actually rebuild my, my food economy because right now uh, I was only trading. Uh, uh, but yeah, my economy was was uh, was not uh, in, in the best spot. Um, um, yeah, I was uh, the only thing uh, that I had some gold, uh, some stone coming in here um, as, as well. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, the foe here leveled up. Yeah, so when we look at this, <laughs> he's uh, he's getting ready. He has a foothold on our uh, on our island here. Meanwhile, uh, only with his uh, elite knights, elite royal knights, he is crushing the English base. Uh, uh, certainly, certainly nice. He, he was because he was going on eco all the time, so he just got a huge bunch of knights. Was just steamrolling the English like 19 so far. He lost obviously. He has them over there, so 25 uh, royal. When he started to just steamroll this uh, English base, and you know, no matter what, there is in a way like a few god towers and a few spearmen that can't hold them back. So yeah, my. Uh, my forces coming up as well. Uh, also, with uh, no surprise, they were not still veteran uh, because I'm not in the Imperial Age, but also had some archers uh, in the back against those spearmen. Take them out and have them uh, cycle around against the uh, against any kind of crossbowmen or other uh, against the English longbowmen or other ranged units. So yeah, uh, here um, he took on the Chinese. But he had to retreat a little bit because, uh, because the spearmen obviously um, can ca cause a huge amount of damage. So that was very nice going after the, the, the villagers there. Um, <laughs> letting the spearmen run after him and just uh, trying to go. But yeah, in the, in the Barbican this can be quite dangerous for the knights here. So that's definitely nice, the uh, nest of bees that he sent out from his clock tower. Um, meanwhile, I took out the um, uh, his food income um, from here. Uh, it didn't matter too much, as I can see now. But yeah, I wanted to uh, to bring this to a halt. So that's why I took this out. Um, collecting my forces, because I have four rams uh, coming up in the back uh, as well. Meanwhile, he's... <laughs> Uh, and then, then, I mean the the price is pretty cheap. You get um, you get all those units for just 100 food, 100, 100 uh, wood, and 200 gold. So yeah, he was thinking um, this. So meanwhile, um, yeah, he lost a lot of knights there. Uh, he lost most of his his army, but I I'm here now. He keeps producing a new one. Uh, and uh, yeah, now it's my turn. To, to play a little bit. So yeah, I put them on um, staggered formation. I don't know why they actually stayed so close after all. But yeah, break the, um, them. He has more knights coming in the back as well. And hammering his uh, Chinese uh, capital town center here uh, with the ramps. So yeah, I still... Um, that's when he, when he surrendered. 
So yeah, at this point, you know, I was just getting up new forces, so I was building men at arms um, just for the front line. Some Arba Libriere uh, in the back to provide assistance against uh, any kind of armored units uh, as well, plus my, my knights, obviously. Yeah, building up this force while continuing to fight here. Yeah, that's what I meant. Using my archers to take down the, the English uh, spearmen and trying to pick on those nasty longbowmen. Uh, but yeah, when they're busy and he's chasing me, yeah, you know, I can take out this longbowman also with my archer, so no problem. Meanwhile, he's still building. <laughs> He already has uh, quite the little force there, he's, uh, he's building up more. So yeah, my ramps going up because I want to take down this, um, this landmark and then go after the other landmark as quickly as possible. Yeah, just making sure that any kind of reinforcements coming out are either directly killed or taking all this ability to get reinforcements there in the first place. Yeah, there he uh, moves up. He has now uh, quite a little force. Three trebuchets, seven uh, veteran longbowmen, five men at arms, three knights and six elite spearmen. So, um, that's... Uh, I, I still didn't realize the, uh, this threat. I was still building my second force and I was like, wait a second. I actually saw something was wrong. So I realized he has, um, he has a force there in the back. And that's when I started to engage him myself while at the same time uh, I continue to uh, crush his, uh, his force so I thought you know crush this landmark here and then uh, should I win right it was like well, well you we need to have another one but where is it I had no idea it was in the back there so that was definitely is a very nice move from him meanwhile the battle commenced my other uh, I, I should have activated the deploy canvas so they get some ranged armor and a little bit more School of Calvary with this trebuchet, so I try to burn them down. Um, I killed most of, uh, of uh, the remaining forces. Uh, definitely very nice with the, the, the crossbow man there. Getting on the trebuchets. Shooting them down. But uh, while I was busy with this, he was already because he kept producing <laughs> his Wingard army, so he, he kept sending uh, forces in there. Uh, I I completely lost the food. Um, I uh, just traded at this point because I knew it was all game was almost over. I didn't pay any attention to this. I was just micromanaging my army, trading wherever it was needed. If you look at the current resources, yeah, I have enough to keep trading units um, there. Um, the, Starting to repair my landmark here. Yeah, those uh, those villagers, which I sent out to burn down one trebuchet. Uh, let's see, I should have seen. Uh, yeah, there was the the other trebuchet over there. But I think at the, at the same time I was yeah, yeah I was going through his base. Now sending back my army uh, to the back to the homeland <laughs> um, to protect. And uh, having those guys troll on, I was still looking for the landmark. So that was definitely an interesting thing. Yeah, here, here I'm sending my those villagers to just take out this nasty, nasty trebuchet. Um, completely ignored my economy. <laughs> um, what I did was really going heavy on the on the stone. Uh, I really wanted to uh, not wall everything off, but build some key um, uh, keeps. So I don't get harassed. Uh, but that was like, you know what? He he comes from there, so um, there must be something going on over there. So let's let's just go up and see. So um, yeah, he, there he had it. He he had uh, like some houses and some barracks where he was building things. I mean, he was definitely limited. Um, he couldn't produce because he didn't have enough houses. So yeah. Uh, Containing him here, building a keep, just to, to make sure he's still there. So he, he has the Vingard army, he's now uh, able to produce troops to uh, directly um, pushing me here. So I have all my villagers here um, that um, when I build the keep, 
Uh, he has still hugs left, that, so I can't go too deep inside there. I realize that I, I tried to get the trebuchet at least though. Uh, go there, but all the support from the, from the naval forces really, really helped uh, helped him here. But yeah, my focus was to take all those uh, all those villagers and just build up the keep out of range of his navy, just containing it in, in here. Um, so that already did the trick. Then put the villagers aside there, just so there's a little bit more firepower. And yeah, he, now he's contained. He, he can't do anything. Uh, I mean, like you know, it's a long trip, but why not uh, have them come back here? Um, yeah, so th this was the remainder of, of his base, getting my new units out, <laughs> still trading all the time when necessary uh, for food, not really building anything except for some uh, mangonels now, because yeah, that was very military focused uh, match, um, and that was sloppy about the economy as well, I have to, I have to say, after, after he broke my fish economy here. Um, my fishing economy, I, 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 um, I should have started to get some fields and stuff. But yeah, I needed the wood for my rams. I needed the wood for um, units. <laughs> uh, I knew, uh, I knew about the risk. I, I knew it was risky, but I also knew we were hammering him here and we were destroying him over here. So and it was something that uh, was worth considering. Yeah, it's uh, my ally in a very good spot. Uh, very strong economy. Um, it's doing very nicely. So yeah, let's look at the military. So um, yeah, he he nailed it with his with his knights. Uh, has the, the the most kills. Um, also obviously then also uh, the not obviously uh, actually the least lost ones. That happens when you have when you have a, a whole army like 30, 35 knights. Then elite royal knights that can just steamroll the enemy. Uh, the, the force is so large that uh, you know uh, it's hard to kill them. It's hard to stop them. So yeah, I was. I knew I could go in, burn this stuff down, and uh, but yeah, you know, I knew we won, won the game, so I, I took it slow. Um, I'm just building another fortress here. <laughs> Just in case he wanted to go around. Um, starting to get a uh, trebuchet to bombard him from, from the back line. Um, yep, building, building more um, siege workshops. And yeah, I was just containing here. He lost the game. It, uh, was, he was desperate. Uh, he was completely uh, locked in there. He could have immediately attacked. So I, the place with the McDonald's. Well, I want to take this out and then just move in there. But yeah, he was besieging him there. Uh, my ally uh, having the same idea, building siege workshops next to me. Um, but yeah, now he's sending his, his knights, which I realized. So he sent his troops even before my ranks could arrive. I was like, okay, once he's here, we're gonna just take the mass of units. We're gonna just kill him in one blow. Um, so I don't have to send him this little force and get hammered by the navy and the stonewall tower and everything so yeah but there weren't any units coming anymore so there was pretty much you know, not a threat except for the navy and a few units but you know why not he's coming now so let's do this together he is up and go so there we there we go there. The sheer amount of knights is astonishing. It is utterly insane. It's really nice try to, to try to burn his, his naval vessels here. Yeah, which really love to uh, kill our forces here, but that's okay. And there he, there he surrendered. Um, Definitely an interesting kind of match, but um, yeah, this is definitely the worst map um, <laughs> to play on, in my opinion. Always um, disrupts my um, my building order. But yeah, there you have it.